So today we're going to look at how to find the center of a circle when you aren't given the center of it, but you are given the circle itself. And we're going to use chords to do it. The first step you need to do is you need to draw in two different chords. Now we should remember that a chord is a line that goes from one point of the circumference to the other. And we should also realize that your diameter is also a chord, but the diameter is a chord that runs through the center of the circle. So I've drawn my red chord here. So that's going to be chord number one. And I'm going to draw another chord. It doesn't make a difference what angle you draw that. So I'm just going to draw it straight across here. And that's the blue chord. Okay. So we've got chord A, B. And we've got chord C, D. Okay. So to do this, we're going to use a previous learn skill. We're going to bisect a line. Because if you bisect a line, not only do you get the center line of it, you also get a line that goes perpendicular to the line. And when you do both of these, you'll find that the two lines that you create will intersect each other on the center of the circle. So we're going to give that a go. So we should know that if we set our compass to something that's obviously bigger than halfway the line, so I'm just going to go about there, swing an arc one side of the line, swing an arc another side of the line, go over to the other side, repeat, do this here, do that there. So that is one line bisected. I'm going to draw that in as accurately as I can. That gives us that line there. I'm going to repeat the process then on the uh, chord CD. So I'm going to put my compass in here. And again, I'm over halfway with this. So I'm going to swing one side of the line and the other side of the line. I'm going to repeat on the other side. Swing one side, then the other. I'm going to draw this line in here. And this point here is the center of the circle. And just to check that, I'm going to get my compass. I'm going to pop it in there as accurate as I can. I'm going to set it out to the edge of the circle, or the circumference of the circle. And as I spin that around, it matches it exactly.